I'm so full and sassy. Voila. How are you today? Hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Here in Berlin, it is freezing. <laughs> but I'm staying warm inside this house. And uh, I hope you're staying safe. Yeah? I hope you're staying safe. And I hope you're still, even in this lockdown we're all experiencing, wherever we are, um, I hope you're keeping your vision alive and your dream and your hope. Yeah? Listen, today's Soul for Dish is going to be something that a lot of people may not like, but a lot of people love, and a lot of people will eat once a year. And I'm one of those people that will eat them once a year. <sighs> My mother will cook them, and I'm telling you, we will walk in the house, and this uh, awful aroma. Oh! Oh! And she will cook them and serve them. And I put my little ketchup on them. And they will be so good, though. Today's soul for dish is chitterlings. I know. I know. I know. Pig intestines. Pig intestines. And that's all I'm going to say. Pig intestines. All right? We're not going to say nothing else. Well, don't, don't make me. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Let me get through this process. Have a little taste. I'm cooking something for a girlfriend of mine. And, um... I wanted to show you how uh, we cook them down south, yeah? Now, I found some here in, in Germany, of course, in Berlin, at the Asian store. And they're called, um, let's see. Schweiner in Down. Schweiner in Dom. I think that means stomach of some sort. I have to look that up. But listen, I have the one from here in Berlin, and I have the one um, that we have in America. So I'm going to show you both, see how they look, uh, the texture, and uh, but cook the same way. Cook the same way. Okay, good All people. Right. Here are the ones from um, Germany. As you can see, they kind of come like one long intestine what I'm gonna to have to do is open this up and clean that out oh I know I know I know but I have to admit I'd rather clean these than the ones that you can find in America in a bucket red bucket or blue bucket they are just disgusting to me this is much better to clean I will take all of this excess off. Let's just give you a, a nug of what I'm doing. This would be for the the one that I find here in Germany. Yeah, this is the part that you want. I'm gonna have to. give this my attention. Just wanted to show you. And this here are the ones that I got off the base. And you see how they look. I don't know the way these look at all, but mm. now I'm going to have to go back through these. Even though they say pre-clean. Did they say pre-clean? Oh well. They are definitely pre-cleaned because I know what the, trust me, I know what the other ones look like. Yeah? I'm going to be going through taking off this little bit here. So I got some cleaning to do, as you can see. Okay, everybody, here we go. I'm getting ready to do the cooking process after I had cleaned them. These are the American ones. Now, they got some filthy ones if you buy them in the red and blue bucket, I think it is. But these were pre-cleaned, and they were only five pounds. So, they're really going to cook down to just enough for one person, really. But I'm going to do what I was what I was um, told about uh, when I was a weather girl. 
Miss Azura Armstead, bless her soul, and her, her daughter, they would put potatoes in the, um, the chitlins. And what that does is that it um, gets all that grease. Because once you cook chitlins, there, there's a pile of grease when it cools down and it, and it rises to the top. And that's what my mother would do. That's, I couldn't eat them anymore. I, I was done. So now this here will take in all that grease. And plus, it's going to dismiss uh, the smell, that, that the aroma that they can, they can um, give you. So I'm going to put these on for about a good 30 minutes. Um, and yeah, show you. All right, here we go. These are the ones here in Germany. They're a little thicker. They're like a sleeve. And I'm going to do the same process as I did to the other one. I'm going to put these potatoes in with some more water. Again, to extract that grease and to eliminate the smell. Okay, now this is how it looks once I start the process of cooking. After I pulled up a whole heap of fat on the back of this, this is the inside. I cut, I split them open, and I'm going to eventually, you know, slice them thinner so they can cook down. I'm going to repeat the process again with the potatoes. And this is the, um, the American ones. I'm going to repeat the process again with potatoes and um, probably two more times because I really do not like that um, greasy taste on them. Okay, everybody, I am getting ready to uh, start cooking the chitlins now. I'm going to show you because you know, now the water is much clearer and I've already seasoned with some um, spring onions I use. I use some spring onions and uh, I just basically um, put some salt and pepper in there and voila. I'm going to cook them now for about a good two hours or two hours. So let me show you what they look like. Okay, everybody. Here we go. Chitlins are done. These are the German chitlins, as you can see. Remember the uh, the long intestine that you saw before? I just kind of cut it up. And these are the American ones. They're not greasy at all. I put some spring onions in there and all that good stuff. As I told y'all, I was um, cooking these for a girlfriend of mine. It is Miss Tracy Bang Duncan from Philadelphia. Bang, yes, bang, yes. Bang, bang, everybody. Bang, yes, bang, yes. Bang, bang, everybody. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let her um, taste both, and she'll tell you how she likes my chip. And she's had them. You've had it before, though, right? Yeah. yeah. And I am very hungry. That's that's the American one. That's the well, you know, you see the difference. Okay. <laughs> that's the German. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. well, would you say those are a little bit thicker than the uh, American ones? Yeah, a little bit thicker, but they are soft and very tasty. Nice and tangy. Now you got an American ones. Mm-hmm. You see how you did you cut that? Mm-mm. Not Tim at all. Nice. Just like my grandma. What? Mm-hmm. And I do not eat. The, actually, the only person who tell I ever ate besides my grandma's is English. So very good, very good. I just want to give you a little history on chitlins. Chitlins was something that, going back into our history, that we were, that my ancestors were given. 
That's what we had. To, that's what they had to eat. You know, they wasn't they wasn't allowed in the master house after they did all that cooking for them to eat their chicken and cornbread and all that good stuff. You see, so they gave our ancestors the chitlins. Now we made chitlins what they were. Now, so don't don't get it twisted. Now it's a delicacy. Now, honey, and expensive. You you pay like ten. Well, I know in America, in Atlanta, I paid 10 euros for a little, I promise you, it's probably for a little bit of baby. Wow. Mm -mm. And I said, well, I won't have a taste for that no more, will I? Okay. Uh-uh. Yep. Nice. Cool. Very tasty. So before we get up out of here, as always, I try to sing an encouraging song to, uh, to keep you lifted as well as myself. How about that? So, and to stay encouraged in doing this, I really am enjoying this. I'm really enjoying having the one guest that we can have over during this quarantine to uh, to come and taste uh, my food. So, I'm looking forward to, I want to have someone next time who has never, ever had my cooking. Mm. Or never, ever had soul food. Dang. Yeah? All right, so what song are we going to sing today? I say a little bit of thank you, Lord. Now, those of you who don't know, Tracy is a drummer by uh, profession. So she ain't got no drum, but you wanna, wanna be something then harmonize with me? Okay. So as always, we try to do a, a number where we can um, encourage you as myself as it's well. Recording. Huh? It's recording. It's recording. Yeah, it's recording. Okay. <laughs> it's recording. So anyway, I want to sing a song. Uh, Tracy is a, a, a drummer, as, as some of you already know. And um, we're going to sing a little bit of Thank You, Lord. She's going to harmonize with me. She's a singer, too. All right, here we go. Give me the beat. Mm. Here we go. Tragedies are commonplace. All kinds of diseases keep us slipping away. Economy is down, can't get 